Oil in the Oceans. Hi, I'm Pancho the Pelican. Say, I'll bet you didn't know that the oil spills from shipping and tanker accidents, coastal refineries, and offshore production only account for 39% of the oil that ends up in the ocean. Another 10% results from natural oil seeps. However, the organisms that live around the seeps have special adaptations to deal with the extra oil in their environment. Anthropogenic sources, or the oil leakage caused by humans, create tremendous issues for animals like sea turtles, birds, coral, various types of fish, benthic organisms, and many others, as they cannot cope with the influx of oil. The global oil trade is an essential component of the world's economy. Oil shipping accounts for nearly a third of global maritime trade. With the increased demand for this resource, new technologies such as ships with greater capacity are developed, further advancing the field of science. What happens when something goes wrong? In 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded in an incident also known as the BP oil spill. As soon as the news broke, scientists began brainstorming ideas to stop the thousands of barrels of oil per day that was gushing into the open ocean. Huge plumes of oil formed after the explosion of the rig, while the top of the water was being coated with nearly 580 square feet of oil after only five days. As the plumes of oil spread vertically through the water column and horizontally across the surface of the ocean, it began to separate and form tar balls and a sheen at the top. As the oil continued to block precious sunlight, phytoplankton in the photic zone stopped producing oxygen, resulting in high quantities of fish dying from asphyxiation. More destruction awaited at the shores. In the wetland ecosystem, oil destroys the salt marshes and erodes the nutrient-rich soil, killing juvenile fish, birds, crabs, oysters, and shrimp. In the nearshore benthos, tar mats, and oil in the sediments affect the food web by destroying the seagrass and oyster beds, which are the habitats of crabs, shrimp, and fish. The photic zone has reduced oxygen production and affects the base of the food web causing downstream effects for the predators reliant on the surface organisms. The tar that eventually reaches the bottom of the ocean destroys deep corals, reducing biodiversity. So what can you do to stop these horrible consequences? Most of the oil in the ocean actually results from runoff from roads and industrial sites. Inspect equipment regularly and make sure to check fuel lines and boats. Install a safety oil valve for home heating systems. Looking into alternative sources of energy, such as solar panels and windmills, reduces our global dependence on oil, thus decreasing the need to transport oil across our world's oceans.